Okay, right away, that is a full team of men. Right away, I just love... I love what COD Narco is going and doing here, man. Watch out. Canine this is... Incoming. It's just... It's just such a smart strategy here. Usually a very newbie player like myself would have just went just guns blazing if a team happened to go and drop on me. But COD Narco just went and hit like the reset button. He fell back to farm, repositioned, got some nice little height advantage over the enemies. And now he's just kind of waiting for them to go and push to him. Oh, he's popping a kinetic, fully getting healed on up. He's scoping out where all the enemies are at okay a player like myself like the moment i go and see someone i instinctively just want to go and shoot them right away but he is very just calculated with what he's going and doing he's kind of letting the enemy get farther away from his other teammates it's just smart gameplay man like i don't know what to go and say this is incredibly smart gameplay the revived flight will arrive in front of Bro, it's so fantastic. Like, there's these small little details. Like, I'm assuming he went and used it ninja, so his footsteps didn't even go and show up. Also, I'm loving how he's going and using AK-117. AK-117, in my opinion, is one of the best ground loot guns to go and have. Okay, he sees that there's an enemy right behind that fence, and then there's a nice little cluster grenade using ninja. Watch out. K-9 unit coming. Okay, going right. It's not like super aggressive. It's more or less just kind of understanding the environment that he's in. And then from that point on, kind of deciding what to go and do here for a gunfight. Yeah, final res is going and happening. It's that dude. He knows that he has this guy weak and he's probably hiding. Oh. Right, that would be the perfect time to go in and be more an aggressive type of player when you know that the dude that you're going up against is already super weak. Okay, that is botatious man me. I don't know if he's not going and pushing the bot because he's worried that the bot's gonna go and take him off his 200 HP. Like someone like myself, I, I would love to go in and continue to go and gather up bot kills. Okay. Bro, like it's all going and making sense right now. I'm assuming he didn't go and kill the bot because if he did, that would go and give away his position to the other full team that was here. Once again, it is smart and methodical gameplay that he is going and doing here. I also love how loyal COD Narco has been to the ninja class for so long. Like this has been his class, I think ever since the They're game initially went and dropped. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> like, I already know that Con Darko, I can, like, hear it in his head, just him going and calling the dog potato here. <laughs> okay, dude. I, I mean, I mean, is that guy going and sniping up there? What in tarnation are you doing, my friend? This is also a pretty awesome spot here. Like, you have a pretty good view. He has a pretty awesome view of everything that's going on, where all the other remaining players are going to go and be. Oh, dude, this would scare me so much. It's a team of three dudes. Oh, is that a cluster that he's going and throwing? I think those are all cluster grenades. That's a good initial lead. Beautiful timing on the cluster grenade to, to go and get that initial damage going on. Oh, yeah. Just having the enemies ooh, come right to him here. And smoke bomber. Oh, I'm actually interested. Get out of this smoke. Okay, right. Repositioning. This is the COD Narco approach here, man. It is all about repositioning, going and getting better, better position than the other enemy player rather than going and like pushing a situation here. Getting height advantage here. Like, I wouldn't assume that a guy is going and hiding up on this ledge here, and I'm assuming he knows that here too. Right? Just have the enemy go and make the mistake. Like, have the other enemy player go outside while you're just going and chilling out on the ledge here. It's, it's smart. I know I keep on saying it, but it's smart. Oh, enemy. Oh, little crouching. Nice. And then this is going to be final team. Beautiful. Hop into full kinetic. He knows that the man isn't going on res duty just yet, but I can see him going and pushing. Right? That's smart. The boy, and then easy. Beautiful gameplay. He has to also be prepared for a proper gunfight. Making use of your classes fun and stuff.
but make sure once you don't have it, you could actually shoot someone or die like a potato. <laughs> Just above him. Good old mechanic. Beautiful hit fire. Bruh! Freaking rewind! Nice, you got one of them. Revival flight just came in, and I've decided to look over those crates. Most of the time, when someone comes back from the revival, they go back for their crate. Yup, yup. Alright then, here. <laughs> for the boxes. Narco said right away, before the voiceover. I hope they come back. Ah, uh, what do you know? I don't think I've ever seen the RPD skin. That's super clean. That almost looks like the uh, legendary Type 25. Wait! Marco, he's right there! Oh, I'm not I, I was like, did you see him right there, bro? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got two. Uh oh. Oh, nice. The rewind user is still alive somewhere. Time to play his game and see if he takes the bait. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> he freaking... No shot. No shot, Narco. <laughs> Heck, yeah he did. He also teleported using his class, but this time to a different dimension. <laughs> Camping tags. All right. Ooh, this is always good. <laughs> Remember when I told you a few moments ago to watch the enemy crates? That also applies when it comes to collecting tags. If you watch them long enough, someone will come after them. In True. this case, I had a little bit of fun. Ooh, almost. Okay. Well played, well played. I have this left ninja user grabbing tags, going inside too. Oh no, he got tags, scanning tags. Got caught in the line of fire, scanning tags. Couldn't do anything there. Ooh, I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh. Ibrahim, dude. Big ripperoni pepperoni. The, the best thing I like about Narco when I watch him is like, he's obviously, he's very serious. I appreciate his seriousness and focus. No way. <laughs> My friend, there's a big difference between camping and predicting your squad's next move. But I understand, dying for the same guy over and over again. Not only you, but your whole squad as well. Must be frustrating. <laughs> I'll make sure I'll give you those five minutes of silence. And next time, make sure you don't land on a construction site again. Oh my and gosh. if you do, run away if you see someone with a mask on his face. Because honestly, I don't know if you can handle this emotional damage again. <laughs> That guy is still the other. Bro, that guy didn't move. Those guys didn't move from their spot? What the hell is happening? Okay. He's in between two teams right now. Ooh, ooh, what's happening here? Okay. Easy. Are you gonna wait? Nice grenade. Goes back up. What? Oh, he threw the other grenade. Oh, that's smart. Boom, kill somebody inside. Easy. Car pushing in hot. Somebody behind the rock. How did you see that? <laughs> How would you able to see that? Oh, he threw a cluster grenade. Yeah. Give him another. Now back to the position. Oh, here we go. Oh, the smoke. The other guy is smart too. Smoking. Oh, he caught him by surprise, bro. He caught him by surprise. Now, here's the thing. 
Narco, like I said, doesn't have the insane amount of like aggressiveness and he's like he doesn't move left and right and with the one shot shotgun sniper like Lotex or Broken or the, all those guys who are like insane at this game. But yet he could win against any of those guys. You know, like I'm not saying he could destroy Lotus get broken. Of course, not. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like if somebody comes to this guy with insane skills, movement, and even aim, this guy could win him just by sitting down and literally showing up <laughs> whenever he needs. Like, oh, I peek. You know, the right moment, perfect time, perfect peek. This is just to show you here that you don't need to have insane movement, insane skills in this game. You just need to have to think basically think about anything you're gonna do think which we don't do okay us we are super excited to get a kill so we push in oh see you one guy choo, 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 choo. dead absolutely dead not a good idea all right coming in hot with the helicopter again oh he sees one dude he lands on him first time first time being aggressive like this this is the first clip where Narco is aggressive. Just because... Why? Because there is a guy by himself. Oh, this kind of seems... What the, what, what, I, I thought... He always used the OTS and the AK-47. Oh, look at that. Bro, this iron sight is so clean. Holy. Boom. Easy. Easy. Always, like always, the waiting technique, bro. There is a team. He knows there is an entire team. He doesn't need to push that team. He needs to wait for them to make one mistake. And look at them. They're going to make a mistake. Now they're moving on the other side. He knows that. They don't know that. One of them is ahead of everybody else. Oh, now they're fighting. Now is the good moment to push. I guess. Or not. You know what? Let's wait. <laughs> Let's wait, I guess. He knows better, right? Here we go. Now it's the right moment. Man, the OTS is so broken, dude. Holy that. Now he backs out. Boom. Easy. Now you, you lost him. You completely lost him. Bro, Ninja is so useful, man. What is he waiting for? Oh, he hears him. Look at that. Tactician, bro. Tactician. In the grass. It looks like he's a real soldier, dude. He's just waiting, hearing everybody. Listening to... Ev I'm gonna start playing like this. I actually like playing like this. Here we go. Easy. Next one. Oh, he caught him. He caught him. He caught him on a head glitch. Now he goes on top. Boom. Easy. That's it. He lost. He, he lost him. See, see what I'm talking about from the beginning of the video? I'm just saying it. This guy is just patient. Patience is the key. Positioning, patience, and aim. And that's what you need. You don't need any uh, anything else. Useless movement sometimes get you killed. Most of the times get you killed. Ask me about it. No way. He's chilling. All right. Narco! Oh, this is also gonna be a controversial one. So when COD Mobile first released, back in the day, bro, Narco was the only one uploading tips and tricks, right? Like, tips and tricks for people who were newbies at BR that he uploaded were great. But, like, I could just never watch them because I was a Battle Royale professional player for Cloud9. I already knew everything that he was talking about. I knew all of the tips that he would say, and they were all super base level. Like, there was no, like intrinsic value there for me so i never held him in high regard compared to like the br community that maybe never played br and watched him i'm gonna say like a 83 i think he's a great youtuber and he's a great player the people at the top now i can't compete with those people either like i'm not gonna put in 10 hours every day to compete with those guys